y'all and welcome back to my channel on this page i talk about money technology health wellness any of the topics that i find interesting or information that you all send to me if this is your first time here please consider subscribing to the channel and also if you find the information in this video helpful please like the video and share it with your friends thank you so today i want to talk about some new research recent research that came out from the national women's law center and based on this research uh it just it, it got me y'all so based on this research and these numbers and this data facts not feelings um black women we cannot afford not to focus on our personal finances and get them in order we just can't afford to so i love data i love research uh unbiased data unbiased research um you know focusing on the facts not feelings and then taking you know research and data and thinking about you know things that i can do um things that can uh that can be done around me to um make change and improve myself or improve those improve for those around me as well so fair use i encourage you all to um go and i'll leave a link below uh to um the research and where you can read it and read it for yourselves but yeah so this came out uh from the national women's law center and this research focused on pay equity the wage gap and is based on among other things u.s census bureau data from 2020 and other data points and other researches uh data and you know i'm going to just talk about a few key points again i encourage you to go read it for yourselves um they titled this it's time to pay black women what they're owed but what this says to me when i read through these um some of these points and i look at the charts it just tells me that we just can't afford to not take control of our our finances black women me i can't afford to you she her they them we just can't afford so all right so a few points so black women working full-time make almost one million dollars less than white men over the course of their careers almost one million dollars and so this is based on at this next data point which has been out for about a while this is not new so it's it's been known that uh, uh historically black women are paid 63 cents to every white man's dollar so data shows based on that data point that statistic that that amounts to a difference of more than two thousand dollars a month and nine hundred sixty four thousand four hundred dollars over 40 years that's a lot of money y'all that is a lot of money so based on those numbers and doing some projections um this data this research says so black women have to work to the age of 83 to earn what a white man does by the age of 60. let's talk about a wage gap that's a wage gap right there okay so some additional points here um the disparity between black women's women's pay has only closed by about <laughs> three cents over the last 30 years and based again on those projections and those numbers black women aren't projected to reach equal pay into the year 2130 2130 y'all um, this also means, again, based on this data, this research, it means that a black, a black woman, if we want to bring it into like current terms, because 2130 seems like a long way away, right? But if we just put it in to today's numbers, it means that a black woman had to work until August 3rd of this year to catch up to what a white man made last year alone. Okay, so the research also noted that the impact of the last 18 months on black women's pay including um, unemployment uh impacted them that demographic more than it did other demographics and it just further contributes to the racial wealth gap so racial wealth gap meaning like the generational wealth being able to pass on um assets not liabilities to your family um it's just interesting i i encourage again you guys to go and just look at um look at some of the charts they also dig into um data around um different demographics so 
uh, all workers, Asian, um, Asian Pacific workers, Black, Latinx, Native American, white, black, et cetera, um, who work in frontline jobs and the disparities in pay there. Like, you know, you have workers doing the same job, uh, the same experience, same skills, same performance, but the pay is just still, um, it's still not equal. Um, and it also uh, outlines the systemic changes that institutions and employers need to modify um, to make the um, pay equity, to make it more equal for all people. So we know that uh, systemic change takes a long time, you know, not always, not always, but sometimes systemic changes uh, to feel them, you know, to be felt, to be seen, sometimes they can take a while and it just, when reading this, this data and this research, I was like, okay, you know, all of these changes, yes, I understand these changes need to happen, but what does it mean for me? What does it mean for black women as a whole? You know, we just can't sit and wait for change. Sometimes, you know, based on what you know, you need to go ahead and, you know, start making change for yourself. You just can't sit around, um, you just can't sit around what actions you can take. So on a personal level, with this knowledge, knowing these things, knowing that uh, in some situations is the pay is just not equal and that there is a wage gap. We know that black women, we know that we must continue to educate ourselves. It's known that black women in the United States are the right, uh, that has the highest, are, are the demographic with the highest uh, rise in education rates. Number two, we know black women, we have to research and negotiate our pay. At the beginning, we have to. Our pay, our wages, um, we have to do that. Also with our salaries, when we get, when we're starting a position, because you know, once you get into a role, you get into a position, it's a little bit um, harder to, uh, it can be a little bit harder to negotiate a pay raise depending on how the institution, if you're working for an employer, how that business, that institution um, does pay raises. So it can be a little bit challenging once you're in the role. So your biggest leverage is negotiating and doing that research of the salary and the wages before you take the position. Number three, we have to budget our money. We have to. And tied into that, we have to watch our spending. Oh my gosh, you know, I, uh, uh, I have been caught up in the target effect, right? Uh, just spending more than what I make but learning to use more discernment, you know, watching where my coins go, but not just spending money and living within my means and paying down debt, but spending dollars mindfully, spending my money mindfully. And maybe I'll do a separate video about that, but spending my dollars in businesses and corporations that, um, that are for our greater good. So again, maybe I'll do a separate video about that. If you want to see that, send me, leave a comment below or send me a message. Um, also again, paying down debt, black women, we have to, if we're no, if we know that we're making only 63 cents on average to every other person's dollar, then we, it's to our advantage to pay down debt, especially with interest rates because child those interest rates will eat you up that's just extra money when you start looking at interest rates of like 15 percent 17 percent 20 percent 25 percent that's just extra money that you're paying to an institution that you can be keeping in your own pocket we have to continue to educate ourselves on personal finances staying motivated staying encouraged looking to those who have done what we want to do and emulating that um, I did a video and I'll link it above on different personalities um, to follow for encouragement. There's resources out there to help you take control of your finances, not beyond just paying down debt, um, you know, uh, just different avenues of like budgeting, saving, investing. And there are, there are personal finance personalities out there to fit different demographics. If you're a single woman, if you're married with children, if you're divorced with children, if you're, if you're a widow, if you are um, if, if divorced with no children. So there are resources out there, um, some of them free. And I also did a video on that and I'll link that above as well on um, ways that you can get your money under control without spending money. And also the last thing, number seven, is money management skills. Black women, we can't afford to not have good 
money management skills and not just budgeting, but also investing our money wisely, saving money, not just for yourself, but also for your families. And that ties into uh, genera generational wealth and leaving assets uh, for our family. So yeah, that's it. Go read the, the research for yourself. I'll leave a link below again. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you made it this far. Thank you for watching. Like this video and share it with your friends. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. And also leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you. See y'all next time.